This short video is going to show you how to set up our PlayStation slash Logitech uh, gamepad controller to communicate with our quadcopter by uh, talking to our computer here and then communicating with another Uno here which has a 2.4 gigahertz radio connected to it. So I've set up a Python script available on the website which essentially does that by using the libraries Pygame and PySerial. Simply run it or after you've, so after you've installed those libraries, simply just run this Python command here to start the script. And you can see it begins, it's just reading in all of the inputs. So if I move some of the joysticks around or press controllers, you can see that the, the values will be changing. So it goes between uh, 1500, which is about neutral, 2000 is high, 1000 is low uh, for most of the controls, like yaw, pitch, and roll. Yaw starts at 1000. Uh, you can see more of that just by looking at the script. Um, so now that that's running, I'm able to communicate wirelessly with our quadcopter. So I have the AeroQuad software that's connected uh, to the computer here and the copter. And so we've just done all the calibration. So you should be, so if I go to transmitter data now, uh, you can see that the, whenever I press buttons, uh, it's actually modifying the transmitter data. And that's actually due to a radio hook that I've written into AeroQuad, especially for our radio hardware. So if I adjust the joysticks around, you can see that moves around as well too. So uh, if this is your first time, you're probably going to want to do the transmitter calibration. And just click OK twice. And basically all that does is you just want to, uh, once it sets up, you'll have a display of all the joystick values. So if I move the joystick all the way, if I move it here, it should it shows up there. If I move it there, it shows up there. Um, you can see that it doesn't go all the way to the side though because I've done some padding into the Python script to prevent it from going all the way. It's just because the distance between neutral and to the side is pretty small. It's really easy to accidentally do sudden movements with the copter. So I've had the Python script pad it down a little bit. Uh, you could also do that within the AeroQuad software if you like. Um, so yeah, you'd want to do transmitter calibration. I'm not going to commit this, save this transmitter calibration, because that's going to indicate that if I move it all the way down, um, it's going to set that to be all the way low. And I have this padding on here for a reason. But if you don't have any of the padding, um, if you just let it go all the way in the Python script, if you modify it, then you can do transmitter calibration. Um, so I'm going to click cancel. And I'll just give you a quick demo of how the motors work based on the gamepad, gamepad commands now. So I've programmed it in such that if I do this button here, we'll actually calibrate the gyroscope and the accelerometer. And you can see if I press it, it moves those down to the side and it performs a calibration. And it'll just hold that for, it just freezes for a couple seconds and then it'll return back. So now I'm going to arm the motors. And usually you do that with a regular controller by just moving the throttle and yaw to the bottom corner here. However, I've set it up so that the throttle commands are adjusted by the triggers. So a button will just do that for us. So if I press 10 here, you can see that it will perform that and the motors become armed. So now what I'm going to do is increase the throttle. The battery is not actually plugged in so it won't take off. This is just a simulation of what the motors do. But I'm going to increase the throttle by holding that down. And sometimes I find that the motors don't quite turn on right away unless I yaw it to the right a little bit. And you can see that they've turned on here. So the more I increase the throttle, the faster the motors increase. If I want to yaw it by using the yaw command here, pushing it to the right, you can see that the motors adjust appropriately. If I want to go the other way, motors 1 and 3 will become higher. Uh, similarly for pitch, which is up and down, if I pitch it upwards, you can see that it adjusts appropriately to go forwards or backwards, and similarly for right and left. Now, of course, if I remove that padding in the Python script and allow it to go further all the way, um, these motor values are going to become more extreme.
Okay, and then I can easily just bring the throttle back down and turn the motors off. So that's essentially how that works. So it's really nice just to test to make sure that the controller is working properly without actually having to um, fly the copter. And that's basically how that works.